What's up guys and welcome back to LA Noir. This is the Black Caesar. It's our first Vice mission. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? <laughs> two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. Ooh. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. So our new partner, Roy, thinks he's a hot shot, huh? Thinks he's too cool for school. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Look at this, dude. We upgraded to the, the drop top, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Going all Hollywood, huh? Got our promotion, and now we just think we're the... Is it department issue? The coolest, hottest no, dude thing. This is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice Hall. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. This is sweet, dude. Do we have a siren? We do have a siren. Nice. Some point we're gonna have to take a left if any of these streets are open. Looks like this one might be. All right. Who in God's name would eat at that hobble? Made it to the junkie's apartment. So we got two dead guys. Overdosed on morphine. U.S. Army issued morphine. Is shithole for our first date. It's the interesting part. I wonder where they got it from. It's probably the more important thing to figure out here. So let's see what we're working with. Make it into the it's paper? up the stairs, detectives. Around right. the corner, last door on the left. Up the stairs, round the corner, last door on the left. Dude, this is going to be so nice not to deal with murder victims and serial killers and all kinds of stuff like that. Like, I mean, it, it sucks. It's still oh, dead nice. bodies. Your show now. All right, you freaking creep. Still dead bodies, but, I mean, it's... Definitely a lot easier to stomach than naked women that are all cut up and lacerated and stuff like that. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. No. Oh. Government issue morphine. We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. <laughs> yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? <laughs> Just let me do my job, Roy. Let the golden boy get to work. So it looks like we've got uh, a wallet here, maybe? 
Open this up. We've got a license. Tyrone Anthony Tyrone Lamont. Lamont. Not even 23 years old. That's sad, man. That is really sad. We've also got a betting slip. A small chance. From Saturday tonight. night. Probably better than no chance. Okay, out number. These clowns lived on popcorn. Hmm. Yeah, what's up with all the popcorn the here? All over the floor. The Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Okay. Wait, it said we could further investigate it. Hold on a second. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Oh. So there's something nefarious going on with that. Can we check some of the other cups and see if we can see if we can see what was taped on the bottom? Again, Black Caesar. Another special order from the Caesar. Let me check the bottom. Hmm. Not quite sure what's up with that. Looks like we've got a music sheet here. All in my head. By Andrew and Simon Hale. Between love of the needle and love of the music. Hmm. Okay, and then we've got another little slip over here. Cherries, bells, win. A fruit, a bell, and win. Strange doodle. Sounds kind of like a slot machine. That's what I think I've seen it all. Cherries, bell, win. Maybe apples. Kind of look like cherries to me. Got another cup over here. Bro, it's got to be something to do with the cups. Oh, here's the morphine. Street life, I have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Dude, that thing looks like super glue. Another black Caesar cup. Same thing. Same thing. So, they're not eating the popcorn. They're dumping it on the ground. They must be... Black Caesar must be, like, supplying the heroin. Like, that's how they're getting it delivered. No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. They're, they're buying it in the popcorn cups. They dump the popcorn. They get the, the, you know, morphine and do their thing. Stick it in their bum or wherever it goes. I don't even know where it goes. I think it goes in your arm, right? Not so, oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Look at all the popcorn, dude. There's no way. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Another one. I feel like one of these has to have... A bit heavy for an empty cup. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. In broad daylight. Okay. I was thinking the, the morphine was going to be in the cup, but no, it's just on the bottom. That's that's how they're delivering it. That's the delivery method. Okay. The music has not stopped yet, so we definitely have a bit more. We can, I mean, we should probably check out the bodies. Once no. Red is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Ugh. Poor guy. I bet it smells wonderful in there. They've been dead for a couple of days. What's in his shirt pocket? All the good ones, Phelps. Cornell Eustace Tyree. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. JJ always listens to 275. Why do these two care about his taste in music? Yeah, the music thing is a weird... A weird thing. Maybe that's the way they're communicating another with day, their dealers or something. Dollar. We check his his hands. Ooh, you can sell. Oh. Looks like it was always going to end this way. You can see the injection marks, dude. I. It's a good thing I'm terrified of needles. Even if I wanted to to do, I mean, obviously I would never want to, but like, there's no way I could ever do that period just because I'd be so scared of the needles. Should probably check check this dude's body as well. Gosh, dude, I don't... Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. I'm down for that. I feel like there's there might be something else to it, though. I guess the music stopped. I'll get out of your hair, Carruthers. <laughs> Just kidding, you don't, you don't really have any hair. All right. Let's go. Let's go find out what's going on over at this popcorn stand. 
seem to be selling a lot more than popcorn. I wonder if they're the, the supplier. They're, they're probably a middleman, though. You know what I mean? They're the dealer. So the dealer's gonna have, have a supplier. We wanna go after the supplier. We're looking for the big boys here. We aren't just like a normal street beat cop, you know what I mean? Like we're, we're after the big stuff. We're after the big fish. So we're, we're gonna go get this done, baby. Where's it at? Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Is this it over here? Black Caesar. All right. <clears throat> you fellas seem to be up to no good. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> Get that son of a bitch. Oh, I'm after him. Don't you worry about it. Apprehend the fry cook. All right. Will do. Get back here, you son of a gun. Don't make me ask you twice. Don't you worry. I'm, I'm used to this, bro. I've been in a million of these fights. All right. That's, that's so lame. All of them do that, too. They all wait for us to get right there, and then they hit us in the face every single time. Why is it always rooftops? These guys always go to the rooftops. Like, gives you nowhere to run, bro. That's not a good idea. Be better off trying to lose us. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's do a ring around the Rosie and the skylights. Come on. Let's go, Phelps. Look at that. Oh, shoot. He's going up top here. We're looking pretty quick though. Feeling pretty good. Oh, I was trying. Eddie, help me out, man. They're trying to kill me. You gotta help me out. What the hell going on here? Morgan! Not you? You picked the wrong cop. You there we go. Animals. What's up, bro? Oh, oh, you too slow. You trying to grapple real quick? Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Don't come at me again, bro. Uh, uh. Oop, okay. He's got moves. Let me try to grab him real quick. Oh, yes. Go for a finishing move here. There it is. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. I don't really like this guy, if you want me to be honest. Let me check the trash out back right off the bat. Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. I'm thinking maybe... Can we check these bins? There's got to be some stuff hidden, hidden out back. Guess not. Yeah, we can't check anything. Okay. In here we go. So it looks like... I mean, we've got eggs. We've got toast. We've got bacon, hash browns, burgers, all kinds of stuff. This looks pretty good, bro. This golden dawn eggs. No good to me. Okay. That's not gonna do anything for us. Got a big old box here. See what this is about. Hmm. Real interesting. Here's our morphine. How do I? Where do you want it? There it is. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. <laughs> So we got a box full of cups and morphine that they're definitely distributing. Looks like we got a briefcase over here. See what this is about. The Blue Room Jazz Club. Stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Hmm. Okay, does he have any, anything hidden in his trumpet? This doesn't pertain to the case. No, what about, uh, what about this, this thing? Hold on, hold on. What is it? There's something in there. Oddies. These number slips might affect your tone. Payout number 625 Wednesday night. Interesting. So yeah, there's definitely some betting going down. 
The jazz club has something to do with it. I'm trying to see, can we check like underneath the grill or anything? I think, I mean, this place is, can we check the popcorn? No, this place is pretty small. I think we're good to go. Let's go have a talk we're with this man. We're about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course, I'll do my best, mister. Now don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, son. I can get you in a lot of trouble. Let's talk about these victims. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell, I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. I mean, the contents of your shop Online. suggest otherwise. You know you them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my 10 hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? How about the, the box, bro? The morphine for distribution. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two bounce, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. All right, so we've got a name, Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? What? He's lying. We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now, you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Look, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. I appreciate you, Fleetwood. You, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? <laughs> One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. I don't like this Roy guy. He's kind of an asshole. Not gonna lie. All right, <clears throat> so we've got a couple different addresses, a couple different persons of interest. Uh, I'm going to say, I mean, the, oh, it says the Black Caesar Food Hut isn't done yet. What, el what else could we, I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Hold on a second. Okay, so when we come back in here, the music definitely starts up again. I, I mean, we definitely checked through this, right? And we, we got all this stuff. I want to make sure... Oh, issued by Jermaine Jones, booking agent. Jones character. He already did. He already told us that. But we we missed flipping that part over. Are we are we good now? If I check my locations, are we good? Ah, that's what we were missing. Okay, good stuff. I don't want to leave any stone unturned. So let's. Uh, there's. I can see there's a phone on our map. Where's that phone at? Right here. We should call and get info on Jermaine Jones. I mean, if he's the supplier, that's probably where we should head Operator, next, right? Operator, give me the R&I. Putting you through now. Let's follow up on that first. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. All right. Thanks. I say we head there next. We've got like two different things going on here. I, I don't know how they're related. I feel like we kind of need to focus on one until we can connect it with the other one. Obviously, we've got we've got drugs going on. We've also got gambling going on. So let's let's worry about the drugs first. We're gonna we're gonna focus on that and then. Hopefully that'll help us out with uh, with figuring out the rest. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. <laughs> it couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Sorry. I was Hopgood. Who? Marlon Hopgood, your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? 
They made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl. As long as Hollywood exists, it's going to be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Harlan was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. I mean, it all worked out, but it just sucks that we're allowing him to do that. But I guess you gotta, you, like, you gotta stay undercover. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta keep the appearances up, otherwise, that's that's not gonna work. Although you can tell that Phelps is still still a little bit bothered about it. Look where you're going. Love how we're driving his personal car. That's that's why I don't I don't mind smashing it up a bit, bro. It's it's not the departments. This guy's kind of kind of an a-hole. So I'm I'm not gonna lose lose sleep over some of this here. Cover now. Put the siren on. As long as we don't run anybody over, we're gonna be okay. Jones Booking Agency, 9:02 a.m. Hmm. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Yeah, I think they might be uh might be making some money in other departments. Oop, what is this? Got a little registry here. Jermaine Jones Musical here we Booking are. Agency Jermaine 238. Jones, 238. All right. We know where to find him. Locate office 238 right here. Hey, who <laughs> let you in? Well, got some questions to ask you, Don't bud. Don't getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, mother <laughs> You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. <clears throat> that roughneck. Gonna find policeman. Policing. Uh -huh. These guys seem to be a little, uh, little under the influence, huh? Let me see what we can find. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. He's obviously very upset. Boy, looking for work. What kind of act are you supposed to be? <laughs> I don't see anything for us to search here, man. We've got some movie tapes and stuff back here. Ooh, what is this? Guanaco. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. All right. Got some whiskey here. Bourbon. Tell me anything. He likes to drink. Got a radio back here. I hope none of this stuff is purloined, Mr. Jones. I have a receipt for that thing. Somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Something, uh... Removals? Loving, loving removals? Always delivered with care? Could be a hint. Wait, hold on. Can we... Let me look at that again. I want to see if we can inspect it further. Sometimes we don't inspect it further now. Okay, well, we got a briefcase down to our right. Nope, it's not gonna let us look at that. Uh, anything on your desk, sir? There's a phone, there's a paperweight. Okay. Why do you need so many phones, bro? What is this? Scott Phantom. A fine radio. Shortwave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. Scott Phantom. Choose a knob. Oh, we hold on a second. Where's my notebook? Let me let me check my clues. This this might be the uh, the the radio station note. Cor uh, JJ always listens to two seventy five SFM. S SFM. What am I saying? Two seventy five FM. So we would have put this on FM, and then we want to tune it to two seventy five. 220, 240, 260, 280, just a little bit. Probably, uh, I mean, 270, yeah, 275 is gonna be this knob right there. We good? Gotta turn it on. Oh! <laughs> wow! No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! 
Wilt, get over here. Take these assholes apart. So you're gonna sick your goons on us, huh? I don't, I don't think these guys are gonna, gonna last, last much of a, a chance here. Oh, okay. All right. You really want to dance? Come on, come. Woo! Damn. Hey, Cole. There it is. Tight asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole. You better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. Caught red-handed, baby. All right, so we've got a uh, a lot of fun stuff in here. Oh, this is a similar sticker. Ramez removals. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. So maybe that's his source. I don't know. We'll we'll see. He's got some uh, some of that Too MJ. Much felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. Yeah. That's a lot of MJ. Even more H. Another Audi's betting slip. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. Got this, uh, this, this morphine. This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. <laughs> and we got a lot of cash. How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? Interesting. Are we done? Is that it? I think that might be it. We good to go? Can we ask you ask you a couple questions, mister? Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead? They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. <laughs> you offering me a deal... I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. <clears throat> Imagine the changes you'll see. I get the message. How much is this gonna cost me? The truth. Gonna have to let us know what's going on here, Jermaine. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about this morphine. Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. So it just randomly shows up in your in your jukebox. So we make you line. for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny the Lenny Fink? Who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. All right, Roy knows him. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. There's definitely a link. All of you guys have had betting slips. 100%. Me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Yes, you do. What do we have? Um, with the numbers? That would probably work, right? Unless you oh, cut shoot. me a deal over the heart. We chose the wrong thing there. What's the score with Ram as removals? I brought a radio from there. <laughs> that's all. I don't think that's true. So when we visit Ram as removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Hmm. So these two operations are definitely linked. They're friends. They're working together somehow. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looks like we want to talk on the game well. See what's going on here. We should have got that second one right. Cole Phelps, I'm upset about that. How could I help, detective? 
I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Got it. All right, so I'm thinking... I've got a what? couple of... What's the latest thing? A couple of things we can go to now, right? A couple of different... Uh, different locations. Numbers operation or Ramez removals? So Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks I guess. that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question, but where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. <laughs> if you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. But if you don't ask questions, you'll never evidence. figure it out. Let me do my job, man. We've been we've been pretty good so far. Made it to the numbers operation. Say we go ahead and let ourselves in, huh? Hmm. Looking like we might want to go upstairs. Knock, knock. You got some very important Detective visitors. Detective Earl, LAPD. The name's Merlin Odie. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? Hmm. And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I pay my kick to the Watts, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> see if we can find anything anything hidden in a record player you guys seem to really like music We've got some sports memorabilia over here kind of cool so he's running like a sports bookie type thing We've got these phones over here why do you need Cohen took over so the many phones from Siegel right hmm interesting all right Got a slot machine over here. Pull the lever. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. It was Cherry's Bell Win. Cherry's Bell Win. Any anytime we see one of those on the screen, we're gonna have to hold it. So we wanna hold this one. Hold. And then we're gonna do these. We need cherries and a bell and a win. So there's cherries and a bin, a, a win left. Jeez, this is taking forever. Cherries, there's the cherries and the win. Hey yo, some more betting slips, some more Ramez proof, and some more uh, more morphine. I think Ramez's place is our next stop. Has to be, hundred percent. I think they're the main supplier. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. Beautiful. This in the perfect spot to be able to this look at quantity, it. We're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Yes, we are. Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better <laughs> God start talking. Damn it. Get after him, Bell. Dude, come on. Why is everybody Get running, up, bro? Buddy. I ain't got time for this. Apprehend Merlin Audi. Like you don't think eventually we'd catch up with you, bro. We know exactly who you are. We know where to find you. Let's go get him. This diner's not gonna save you, bro. Ooh. Come on. Get there, Phelps. Stop right there, Audie, or I will shoot. Get there, Phelps. I never know if we should straight up chase him the whole time or if we should try to do a warning shot. If we try to do a warning shot, it's gonna slow us down big time. 
Somebody help me out. Come on. The final push. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, he just knocked that lady out. What are you trying to do, Merlin? Homie's got some wheels on him. I gotta give him that. Got him. Should have been a running back, bro. Instead of running this dope. I still don't know. I mean, I guess the, the gambling right, is just like right, a side hustle. Right, motherfucker, you got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy. But don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. You think there's something hidden in it? Mr. Jose Ramez promises Adi to pay Jose Merlin Adi. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. The sum of two hundred and thirty-one dollars and no cents. So this is like an IOU. It's signed by by Jose Ramez. Okay. So why would I, why would Ramez owe you money? I guess would he's you like probably to gambling. The odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin. I'm not going nowhere. I paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. Hmm. Well, let's talk Early about this morphine. morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. You're lying. 100% he's lying. Do we have any proof of it, though? Um. Probably... This. I was gonna say all the morphine in his in his thing, but this found within the number slips and morphine on Morgan. Okay, I, I I think I think we could use that. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. <laughs> no, you don't. Let's talk about your distributor. If this is a shakedown, I wish you get on with it. I can call my man from the 77th Division and have this all cleared up. Hmm. What about this I owe you know? I owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. He's blinking a little bit, but I feel like he's being legit with us. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and ship dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. Okay. We want you to give evidence against Lenny Finkelstein. Start talking about what you know. I don't know jack shit about Lenny the Fink. And if I did, you'd be the last motherfucker on the planet I will talk to about it. So you don't know anything about him, yet you're looking all over the place, moving your head, and you called him by his nickname. You're lying. Give me something, Merlin, or I'll hand you off to the FBI, and you can do your stretch in Leavenworth. You have any friends in Kansas? All I know is I complain like hell about this stuff coming in these dinky little toothpaste tubes. I keep telling Jose this shit is too strong. And they should cut it like every other motherfucker does. But he keeps telling me it's complicated. Hmm. You're not the guy we want, Merlin, but we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you, and fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Oh, you're going away, bud. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. Homie's got a feather in his cat, bro. Like, who are you, Yankee Doodle? Get, get your ass out of here. You ain't hard. Get that feather out of your cat. All right, so we gotta go. We gotta go to Ramez, right? Let me check our locations here. Ramez removals. There's something happening over here. Furniture removals warehouse operated by Jose Ramez. Jose is is obviously kind of at the top of the food chain here when it comes to this. Uh... Oops, sorry about your car there, bud. Comes to this operation. Runs the dope Mickey does what he's told. 
Benny Siegel will take a cut of any action that's going I thought Jack Dragna was Dragna's an old-time greaser. He keeps his head down and pays his dues. I was trying to stop so we wouldn't cut him off there, but uh, all right, we made it to Ramez Removals. These guys have a habit of LAPD delivering We're here to see Jose Ramez. furniture with What's drugs in Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. <laughs> he was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. Unreal, dude. Everybody's running today. All right, we'll chase him down. Shout out to his employee that just sold him out. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Trying to pit maneuver this dude. Here comes the Obviously didn't work very well. Is he throwing furniture out at us? We're not playing around here. Take this clown <laughs> off the road. Hold on a second. I gotta turn around. We're good. We're fine. It's it's everything's gonna be all right. Okay, maybe not. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. That was not good. I was just not ready for that. He's up there at the end of the street. We're gonna be fine. Chase him down, Trev. Chase him down. He ain't getting away from you. This game needs an e-brake. It might have it. Not 100% sure, but... I feel like it definitely needs it if it doesn't. Got another cop on the case, it looks like. He might be helping us out. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Beautiful. That's it, Cole. You did it. It's truck's history. Pull him out of there. Got him. Give it up. LAPD! Thought you were gonna get away in a, de a, a delivery truck. Seriously? Co like a box truck? Come on, man. Stick out like a sore thumb and you hardly move. Be smarter than that. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture. Not drugs. So why were you and running? Thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. I'm sure. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're gonna take a look around inside. Hmm. It's mighty ominous music. All right. I mean, the thing is, ugh. you're going to make me look through the entire warehouse? Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Earnhardt Polar Bear, Blue Room Polar Bear. Pol looks like Polar Bear is, is big Why time. Why is buying so much ice? Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's, he's buying 80 gallon blocks of ice very regularly. Raymond Farr, Riggs, Mer Merlinati. Hello. Merlinati is buying a lot of furniture. <laughs> Four crates of furniture, yep. That doesn't surprise me. Got a newspaper here. So we can watch a little cutscene. I like these. anywhere else to meet kid we like to choose our ground what is that supposed to mean huh? it's something wellington said at waterloo the guys who win normally choose where to fight we're we gonna fight kid the two of you versus my boys here i love the fight game i went a few rounds myself you and your friend uh it looks tough but uh i don't like your chances nah we don't have to fight mr cohen we have you an infilate what the fuck is that some kind of steak it means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. <laughs> if those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. 
You got some bombs. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I make promises. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea, muscle kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the Six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Oh! Wow! That was one of the best burns that I have ever seen in a video game. Holy cow. All right. <clears throat> so let's keep on keep on looking. I'm not looking forward to this, dude. I mean, we've got all kinds of files and stuff. We could have any one of these boxes could be a clue. All of these cabinets and stuff. So it looks like this is a legit operation. What's with the puddle? It's not just Where's a front. Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? Oh, good point. It stops over here. Okay. So you think we should we should follow it? What the heck? Does it keep going back that way? It's just a puddle. Does it go back this way? There must be a way through the back. Huh. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is obviously a front for another type of business, but at least they're actually doing what a work. Pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. Bro, what is happening? It like stops right here. We got to get back there. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. Twenty years out of fashion. <laughs> Why are you roasting me, Roy? We're supposed to be working together. Let's get to the bottom of this, bro. How am I supposed to? Smells of old people in here. I legitimately have no clue where I am. We're supposed to, to get out of here somehow. Can't go that way. Ah, it goes this way, okay. I'm just not being observant. Comes back this way. So they're moving the ice through here. This ice is obviously a key. We've got a ladder here. I can't see a damn thing. It is kinda hard to see in here. It's kinda hard to see the uh the ground and the puddle and stuff, so. <clears throat> Made it to the top. Cargo crane operator post to the left. Don't mind if I do. Got a nice spotlight on it. Ooh, what is this? Hello. Nothing out here. I think it's gonna be something with these controls here. Light indicates the crane arm position. Okay. I see a... Uh, I see a, a doorway here that we're gonna have to get into. If we can move this stuff. This is pretty sweet. So we've got that there. Can we just... Can we just drop it anywhere? I don't think we can put it in spots that already have stuff. Let's maybe move it over here. I definitely see an open an open doorway there. How do I drop stuff? There you go. I was gonna say, I was pressing X, I was pressing circle, I was pressing everything. Look at Roy just walking around like an imbecile down there, dude. Has no idea what's going on. All right. Is that thing gonna keep going when we get off it? No, it's not. I was gonna say, we could just let it go down and pick it back up and then we could leave. 
But we we have to wait for it to do that. Now can we leave? Beautiful. All right. Now we should be able to head in whatever that. It's like a refrigerated building. Down here. There's a cold room in the back. Yeah, you can see the the AC units up top, which is where they're probably keeping the ice. Which I'm not sure how the ice comes into it. Possibly. Maybe that's like a delivery method for the morphine. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna want to see this. Are they shipping it in ice blocks? Oh my goodness, dude. They're shipping it in ice blocks. There's something frozen inside. Okay. You want me to... You want me to shoot it? Well, I'll be damned. Wow. How much morphine do they have? This must be how they transport the morphine. There... There's thousands of, of uses in that alone, and there were tons of... Oh, here's, here's a shipment coming in. <laughs> LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. No way. I've already been through this maze, bro. You aren't gonna trick me. You might. I have no clue where you went, to be honest. Um. Wait, he's back here. I was I was following the trail again. Do you want me to actually shoot him? Got him. Nice work. I can't believe he was going to try to shoot us. What did he think was going to happen? So we got to go talk to this ice company now. The ice company is like Take the- Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Hmm. Hunting polar bear, I like that. New location, the polar bear ice company. Is serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little. Let his hair down to the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize hop, Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. I agree with that, Phelps. Yourself. All units Interesting. In the and any central unit. Definitely, uh, definitely some corruption going on here. Woo! Okay, sorry about your car, fam. I apologize. There's Just a little a bit of damage. For a reason, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, bro. So we gotta, we gotta get over here to the Polar Polar Ice Company. I guess. Uh, I mean, this this is just a, a very big organization, very big, you know, establishment happening here. Lots of hands involved, but I think. This is the, the top distributor. I think this is where it's all, all trickling down from, so. Hopefully we can put a stop to it. The Polar Bear Company. Factory, ice Company. That's been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? <laughs> That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Holy cow, dude, we're just popping fools. About to turn you into some some Swiss cheese, bro. He got hit a couple couple times. You're clear, go! I think there's throw out the guns. Definitely not clear, bro. 
Eyes open. It's around here somewhere. Mr. Shots there. Can someone please just kill these assholes? Got him. He's back here. Clear me some space here. We're gonna be very careful. Weapons on the ground now. I ain't running out of friends or guns in here anytime soon. Understand? I know there's a guy behind this. Got him. Give me some goddamn cover. Quick trauma McGraw over here. Got him. Ah, uh, we got one over here. Shoot. I'm gonna put holes. Stay in down. Keep shooting. I want him dead. You better cover my right, bro. I'm going after this dude. You're covered, Phelps. He's down. Get in cover now. There's one more, and it says he's he's above us potentially. Just picked up a new gun. See back here. It's behind you. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up. Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope. Cut a deal. Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. <laughs> Only one other way out, shit heel. Bro! I was not ready for that! I take my hands off the controller sometimes during cutscenes to enjoy it. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. Holy cow. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Look at this! The original supply! This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. <laughs> he just wants the credit. Get out of here, Roy. What a racket they had going on, bro. That's crazy. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's handpicked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. Not bad for our first case in Vice, fellas. We missed a couple of questions there towards the middle, but uh, in the end, it didn't even matter, baby. Still able to track it down, still able to make it happen, make it work. Check our case report. Missed a clue, missed two questions. Had a little bit of vehicle and city damage, but uh, all in all, definitely not a bad job. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we have a little cutscene here at the end. Nope. Reefer Madness is up next. That's going to be kind of fun. So I'll see you guys for that case tomorrow. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and if you want it as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.